Okay, everyone. This is Fathom Crawler, and welcome to a game called Forgive Me, Father. Uh, from what I understand, this is a Cthulhu first-person shooter in a comic book style, which should be pretty interesting. I saw my buddy Apollo play it on Twitch a month plus, I think, ago? A while ago. Anyway, I only saw him play for about, like, 20 minutes, and it was, like, you know, mid-ish part of the game, so I have honestly no idea what's going on. Um, but it looked cool, so I bought it, and here we go. Standard difficulty, priest, hellbent on vanquishing evil, his abilities reward setup and focus on a slower, more defensive playstyle, and journalist is a pr professional seeking the truth, her abilities have shorter cast times and fo are focus on a faster, more aggressive playstyle. Fragment with priest, difficulty, normal, madness effect, normal. No harm is done, color disappears, and blood makes itself known. Feel the power of your image. Yeah. Okay, that already looks awesome. I'll jump on this game. He okay. asked for your help. He asked for your arrival. Chaotic contents of the letter. Missing people. Panic. Strange voices. Cousin Lewis' request for help could not remain unanswered. You set off for your hometown without hesitation. To the town of Pestisville. You got there soon enough. You noticed that the locals were quick to leave this place. You felt observed. This is where you were supposed to meet your cousin. However, the room was empty. While searching for information on your cousin's whereabouts, you heard a strange sound of footsteps in the corridor. After a while, there was a knock on the door. Alright. Start out with a knife. Uh, you've got a gun. Shoot by pressing the left mouse button. You can switch between your weapons with the scroll wheel or numbered keys. Most weapons require ammunition, so aim well. Okay, Jesus. Why does every game start with a sensitivity so damn high? I should have fixed this earlier. This is foolish. Controls, there we go. I just go like half. I do apologize. I should have done like a quick five minute test to make sure I got everything done. Yes. Use it for self defense. No. Uh, sorry. Okay, there we go. Louis Martin, Antiquary, Maroon Street 34, Pestisville, Massachusetts. Wow, this is really. Dormants is written here in blood. Fallen aces. That's a lot of aces. Dear Mr. Martin, circumstances forced me to undertake decisive steps. Fortunately, as a result, Old Murphy started to talk. We need another consultation from your side to understand something from his jabber. Please come to the hospital as soon as you can. I've notified the sheriff as well, Dr. Sullivan. Louise. Uncle, in case of my absence, you know where to find me. Wow, you... This thing's really moving. Stone Obelisk, handwritten note, six. Snaefelsbar, Iceland. Wood Necklace, handwritten note, nine. Lofoten. Handle of Ritual Dagger, handwritten note, thirteen. B.C. Lagaz, Babylon. Vestment, handwritten note. 15. Azores. Golden Bracelet, handwritten note. 13. Ceylon. Awakening, doors, come back, new day. Dear Luis, I've searched for information regarding this symbol that is your subject of your interest. You have, to, you have to visit me in Providence and look through all the materials I gathered for you that caused a considerable stir among my colleagues. I can reveal to you already that we are talking about a magic rune older than any known civilization. Professor I. Jones, Archaeological Archaeology Institute in Providence. P.S. I hope you, Anne, and the children are enjoying good health. 
Jesus Christ, I am cruising around. Gonna have to get used to that, I guess. Alright. Headshot. Headshot. In the north right corner of the screen is the madness bar, which is filled up by killing enemies and drinking alcohol in the game. The higher the madness, the more damage you deal and the less damage you receive from enemies. So it's like a kill streak thing, I guess. I honestly not 100 percent sure what I killed. Red barrels. I've gotta test it. Okay. No. Alright, ten out of ten. Best game in the world. Can I open the other doors? Wow, this is really cool. Did I just kill a man? Forgive no, I killed me, two. Father. Oh, not so subtle. Name drop. Backup head? Can I get a backup head? Wow. Man, I'm just popping heads for days here. Also, I missed some stuff back here. Ammo, yes please. Story, what you got for me? Give me knowledge. We are hiring fishermen to work on boats sailing at the Gulf of Maine in spring-summer season. Four dollars for each cruise. Foreigners are guaranteed accommodation. Recruitment till March 17th at Pestisville Dock. Oh, 66 ammo. Man. Red rum. Oh, there's a mirror. No, oh, damn it, there's no mirror. Murder. Oh, spooky. Nothing back here. But I gotta say, I do like the comic book style of this stuff. I love the sprite animation. It just constantly shift focus to constantly be right in your face. Tales of the Deep, Volume 1. Legends making a sea dog's blood boil. Fire and water. Mermaid Hunter, Gone with the Wave, and Lord of the Sea. I don't have time for fairy tales when such monstrosities happen around. Need to have a red key. Okay, yeah. Doom reference there. Also, be aware of the guys with multiple heads, because apparently they can reload. Don't need health. Do need a key. Ah, yes, sir. Here we go. <clears throat> New England Reporter, uh, March 9th, 1926. Yeah, March. I know numbers. Mayor Mahoney, Reverend Wildshire, and 15 other citizens turned up missing during the last few weeks in Halflings County. The Sheriff's Office still hasn't pointed out any subs suspects in this case, whilst other people are becoming victims of a mysterious assailant. The citizens suspect that the Beast of Pestisville settled in the surrounding forest and hunts for people and cattle. It looks like a three-headed dragon or a sea lion. Testimonies of potential witnesses differ significantly. Who's going to unravel the mystery? Madness! Oh shit. Fuck off. Twelve minutes past ten. Let's see what else is here. That's weird. That one isn't rotating. Everything else is. Might be a bug. Yeah, everything else rotates. Just like that one. Might be a bug. Is this the ah, this is the original door I took. Okay. No, this is not the original door. That's the... This is the other one. Anything else around here that I missed? I like to explore. Blood-splattered walls. The ribs there, for some reason, that really reminds me of... Uh, what's it? Uh, don't Starve. Like, little chunks of meat. All got, like, little bones and ribs poking out of them. It's kind of weird. Kind of messed up to say, but, you know... Still have not gotten damaged. <gasps> Super shotgun! Yes, please! Oh! I love shotguns. 
Give me the shotguns. Careful with that. Love shotguns. Don't gotta aim. Just point and shoot. Point, shoot, repeat is necessary. Hey, I can take out their backup head beforehand. You. Headshot. Backup head. Where are they getting these backup heads? Do they just steal somebody else's head? Because that's kind of rude. Who's this guy? Looks like a drunk. Why didn't they attack you? Why is there lava in here? What the hell? Why is it so damn bright up there? Watch your back, kid. You watch your back. Oh, shit. Finally took my first points of damage. At 11 minutes in. Press E to quick save, hold E to save me. Make sure I get a uh, save me two slots. Okay. Four save. Okay. Oh, there was actually a barrel there. I'm done. I think I'm all good. 44 ammo, 16 shotgun. Oh, uh, this does not scream boss fight at all. Why did two brains pop out of that guy's head? That's weird. Story. <clears throat> Northern Hunters, 1921. Benjamin Mahoney, Charles Maxwell, Anthony Kaminsky, Thomas Jefferson, Reverend Wiltshire. I think that's supposed to be capitalized. Ted Anderson, Charlie Edwards, and Andy Milkway. Oh, obviously, that's the way we're supposed to be going, I think. Yes. This is exploration. I like exploration. way out. Don't want that. Okay, now I'm curious, actually. What is this book? Huh. It's a pirate. That's another door. Secret found. Hell yeah. Glad I went that way. Oh, oh, by the way. Now. I should run away as well. That says easy way out, which tells me, okay, that's a dumb idea. I probably shouldn't do that. I will take this. Okay, okay. Hiding behind the doors. That's cheating. Taking the not easy way out. Picked up a lamp. This is your first free skill. To use it to light up the darkness around you, you must press and hold down the right mouse button. Remember, though, you cannot light your way while wielding a weapon. I should shed some light on this dark place. Oh, God. I should have taken the easy way out. decisions up to this point. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Get out of my way. easy way out have gotten me. Now I'm curious. Can I go back? I'm gonna go back and check. Just to see if I can. Because I don't think enemies pop back up after you've killed everything. Alright, so this is what hell looks like. How did I know that was gonna happen? Any health in here? No. Nope. <laughs> uh, I made the right decision. Did it happen for real? Yeah, how did I know that was going to happen? Okay, so I made the right choice in the first place. Which is nice. So I wasn't just stupid and choosing the needlessly difficult way. No, I chose the smart way. Because I'm a big old smart boy. Total kills. 121 out of 121, hell yeah. Barrels destroyed, 15 out of 19, secrets unlocked 1, 13 minutes, 90, 29 seconds, complete 97%. Had I gone back and killed all those destroyed all those barrels, would have gotten 100. I don't really care. And it's about 17 minutes, okay. Ooh! I know those things. I can't remember the names right now. Innsmouthers, I know, was the, uh... Oh, sorry, locked. That was the humans who had sort of half-bred with the deep ones. Ooh, story. What are you? Mayor Benjamin Mahoney. That guy kind of looks like like a skinny kingpin. More otherworldly demons. Wow, that was threatening. Drunken Sailor Inn. Uh, I guess this is room number seventy-six. Is Edward Bradley checked in on the twelfth of March? 77 is Charles Kaufman, checked in 12th of March. Steve, Do Steve Doors is the 13th of March. Louis Martin is the 15th of March. Andy Milkway is the 17th of March. Taming Rite. Gathered, dressed in ritual vestments, should set up an hourglass shape measuring time to the Grand Awakening. The altar should be placed in the very center. Before sacrificing a bullock in the prime of fertility, he has to be subjected to acts of tempering his masculinity, forced to submit to primeval forces. Acts of tempering feature, rip out, uh, feature, ripping out the horns, physical subjection, castration, species subjection, condemning, mental subjection, prepared sacrifice, blah, blah, blah. That's fucked. Okay. I need to head towards the seashore. I don't know where I am. Please, why, is, why can't there just be like a big old you are here thing? Is that Edgar Allan Poe? That's, uh, what's his face? Al Capone. These are probably pictures of famous people. Dormant evil wakes up at night. Did you shoot me? I should use that thing. Oh well. Rich. Oh, yeah, there's something in here. Another devilish trick. Okay, so apparently not all explosive barrels are friendly. <clears throat> All citizens are not allowed to leave their households after nightfall. Any concerning situation should be immediately reported to the sheriff's office under penalty of law. Acting Mayor of Pestisville, Connor Walsh. What happened to the regular mayor? Is he out on a tour of duty? Or just bored? Oh shit, that guy is shooting at me. Not sure if that's... Oh shit. Is that magic? Or... Bullets. I couldn't tell. I think it was magic. It was sparkly. I have shivers thinking about the horror hiding in these fumes. Ammo. <laughs> Fat fish. <laughs> Health. <laughs> hey. 
It's a phone box. Yes, I know it's a, probably a reference to the TARDIS, but hey, it's the 1920s. This was the phone. This was like the police phone box that they had. It doesn't say anything, but you know, we know that's what it is. All right, 25 rounds for the revolver. 24 rounds for the shotgun. Liquidator. The fuck was that thing? Take a closer look at you. Damn, I can't even see where it is. Well, covered in tentacles, I know that much. Southern cigarettes. You do not expect to see them in these parts. Oh, girl. Story, what do we got here? What kind of plague is this? Yellow police tape. The one thing I can't break. Nope, no. But I want to cross it. I want to poke the rock. something else here. There you are. Okay. Just... Oh, I'm hit. Like a mix of Davy Jones and SS soldiers or something. Like a mix of Davy Jones and SS soldiers. What the fuck? Okay, this is 100% a boss prep room. Okay. Well, I don't like that. Oh, oh. Anne Martin, Docks, 12 East, 1890. Anne, dear cousin, I still hope to find you alive. Ooh, secret. Gotta love secrets. It's probably Safe alive. haven in this sea of monstrosities. Where the fuck was I? Okay, 66, 3 out of 3 barrels, secrets unlocked, 8 out of minutes, 8 out of 8 story opened, 6 minutes, 50 seconds, 100%. And that's coming up on 24, okay. Probably going to call it right here for right now. I'll be making sure to get uh, some more recorded probably today, and I'll get it up at some point in the next few days. Uh, uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy this. I will try to do the game justice, and I do hope that I can get everything read properly. Um... Uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you saw something that I missed or just want to call me a moron, feel free to do so. Leave a comment down below. Uh, and thank my buddy Apollo, uh, Ap Apoloka, Apoloka, or whatever it is on Twitch. I might leave a link to his his uh, channel in the, in the uh, description if he's cool with that. Uh, but uh, thank you, and I will see you all next time.